Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Rashid Ismailov, who is the council chair for 2018 and also is the deputy minister of telecom and mass communications of the Russian Federation. Mr. Ismailov, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the fact that many important decisions and agreements are reached at Council each year regarding the strategic and financial plans of the Union. What activities, policies and strategies do you think uh, need to be in place in order for ITU to fully respond to today's dynamic and rapidly changing ICT environment? I mean, I wanted somehow to structure uh, my chairmanship and I thought that it should be maybe top-bottom going from, from two trends actually, the UN overall organization documents like mm, sustainable development goals, which are an integrated part of our goals, of ITU goals, and then the ITU main documents like convention and constitution, going further on to strategic plan of uh, ITU and, and the outcomes of the previous planning potential conference where the future discussion that are going to take, pl to take place were more or less outlined already. Now, among the goals, we have four goals as far as I've seen and the resolution 71, I had to go through some documents. Uh, there are different goals, but we have to stick actually in order to achieve these goals. I mean, each council, each venue of ITU should, you know, bear in mind that these are the things that we have to uh, follow and achieve, I mean, step by step. So, I mean, there are four goals as far as I remember, among them uh, innovation, growth, sustainability, integrity, and some, I mean, all of them they are outlining the challenges, as you said, that we're facing as uh, the mankind and one of the uh, you know, fields that we're responsible for, that's ICD. So uh, these are all the things that have been already discussed. And uh, usually, as far as I understood, for the council, um, each year, I mean, t t it took each year, a place it each year, and each year before the each time before the council, some big, you know, venue like WTDC in this, you know, in my case, took place. And for me, the WTDC was something that uh, gave me food for thought, what should be discussed and what will be discussed actually in, in the council. Besides, I came on purpose uh, to the, these two weeks council working groups meetings in order to find out what will be discussed definitely and you know what should be what, what would be the subjects of for the discussion in the council and it gave me a lot of experience and I mean you you, you easily can name it uh, what will be discussed based on the council working groups that we had here this is gender channel night protection uh, other things bridging the gap, the digital divide, and so forth and so forth. Now, as chairman of ITU Council 2018, you'll be shouldering a big responsibility as this year is also the year of the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference, which will be happening in, uh, in Dubai later on this year. What do you think will be the main focus of Council in the preparations for PP18? Uh, well, obviously, that's, that's the peak of the activities once in four years when, when they will, the elections will take place and uh, I believe that council is kind of rehearsal or preparation and uh, uh, for the candidates in the first place to show their programs, uh, to have informal and formal meetings, you know, receptions, uh, all this kind of stuff. Uh, this is what uh, regards to the elections, but uh, Altogether, I mean, there will be a lot of discussions. The subjects I've mentioned, most of them, they will be also considered during the plenipotentiary conference and in the council, uh, which is, uh, they will be just part of the member states, 48 uh, out of uh, almost 200, where all the, uh, they will be the essence of the discussions. I mean, the tension and uh, the polarity of the points of view, the different uh, ex uh, approaches, 
this is what I already uh, felt here in, in the council working groups and I'm anxious about you know orchestrating kind of uh, this uh, venue because a lot of things based on my experience as vice chairman last year is uh, on the shoulders of uh, of the of the chairman I was going to ask you as vice chair of council last year what were the most important lessons that you learned uh, and that you'd be applying to your chairmanship this year uh, Eva Spina was a role model for me because I mean she she was brilliant she, she was quiet uh, there were a lot uh, as I told you I mean there were a lot of tension there were a lot of you know different approaches disputes uh, during in the course of the council and uh, the mm, way she you know treated all these things the way how professionally she approached that was uh, really amazing and uh, I admire her and uh, I, I really uh, thought to myself that um, it's hard not to be a successful as a chairman when you're backed up with the uh, with the guys from from IT or from the secret area because each subject uh, when we were discussing uh, they were you know really supporting and backing up uh, the chairman uh, during the council from the personal experience of course I was like watching over all this there was not so much uh, work for me to do there was only maybe one uh, one thing I did myself that was an ad hoc group which was also quite a challenging actually to get an agreement and consensus among all the participants uh, in this ad hoc group which I eventually managed to do and I believe that th that was my personal experience and uh, of course I mean from the procedure and uh, preparation kind of view there's a lot of preparation work for the chairman of the council each day prior ahead of the plenary session there was a, a lot of kind of view and she was going through with her advisor Eva Spina and, and the guys from ITU through all subject what kind of implications might happen in uh, during the discussions during the plenary and uh, there's one thing I would like to mention is uh, uh, the work the activity of uh, Adam committee which was headed by uh, Vernita Harris and and she was absolutely brilliant in this one and I'm really happy that She's actually going to be uh, the head of the admin committee this year as well. And I believe that she will offload my uh, burden, actually, very much during the... I mean, she's professional and brilliant. Also, I would like to mention Darin. Darin was so timidly and uh, non-visibly supporting the chairman and myself as well. Just very quiet with uh, no exposure of herself uh, guiding us and telling us and giving the prompts. That's great. I mean, finally, I mean, in, in, as you've mentioned, it's a it's a tough time. There's lots of tough subjects that are that are, are tackled, and it's uh, it's a, it's a year which we're very much uh, looking at PP18 as well, which is once every four years and a very important uh, date in the ITU calendar. So, I mean, is there a, is there a, a a message perhaps you'd like to convey to the ITU membership just just prior to this uh, uh, this council? Personally, personally. Before coming into uh, Geneva, actually, during the Christmas holidays, I was reading the book of uh, Kamayo Michi, a Japanese futurologist, about... Uh, and the book was called, like, uh, The Decline of Nation States and the Rise of the Regional Economies, which, in, in the, you know, in the course of uh, our discussions globally and in the countries and in other places, like, I was last year in G20, uh, uh, the ministers who are responsible for the digital economy uh, meeting and uh, there are a lot of discussions. We have a program about the digital economy. Personally, ITU and UN, UN is in the first place the humanitarian kind of uh, organization where 
we are not, and in IT especially, we're not dealing just with the techniques, you know, the distribution of the frequencies and, uh, you know, standards and so forth and so forth. There are a lot of, you know, kind of scholar issues conceded in ITU, and uh, it happens so that we, as we are in the front line of this uh, digital shift and digital economy that is coming and some of the science of digital economy are already in our life. And uh, I think that uh, during the council and uh, in during the plenary port, a lot of humanitarian issues will be raised up that ITU should take into consideration not only the benefits of digital economy and uh, the, 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 the brightness of the future, but also the risks that are coming with the digital economy that uh, in, in this book, it said that uh, the mankind would be developed according to the sports. There will be like 100 green points, uh, big agglomerations in the cities with all the fruits uh, and uh, benefits of globalization, and the rest of the world will be just wild village with uh, no opportunity, no access, and so forth. These are the things that we're considering here, the digital divide, the gender equality, and so forth and so forth. Uh, sustainable development growth, all the things that are and should be considered. That's a little bit shift of ITU, that's a big challenge. This is not anymore about the frequencies and standards and protocols. But uh, what I've seen uh, from the audience as vice chairman last year, uh, my impression is that um, the people that were that are in ITU, that are coming in ITU, presenting the uh, states uh, countries, they are really, you know, one, uh, uh, several grades up of these techniques and they can know, uh, they know the synergy of, of, of the humanitarian and technical aspects. And that's a unique competence that the people in ITU and those who are coming to ITU, they're having. And I'm really happy and anxious about, you know, the experience that, that I'm going to have as chairman of the council. All right, Shiriz Malu, we wish you the very best. And uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you very much. <laughs>